Hey guys, welcome to part two. Um, remember everything in this series for solving this texture issue is going to be uh, Bravo. I will be going through a lot of the basic stuff pretty quickly, but any little details um, I'll have to make a separate video for just to help troubleshoot on the way to solve the, the main issue. Um, and hopefully maybe something will answer your question along the way um, in the future. But yeah, so I'm doing all the basic stuff. I made a folder that separated everything. Um, you know, character is going to have a high texture and a low texture file, unlike weapons and armors, which have their own TPF or their texture file hidden inside. Now, this problem was a really big issue. A lot of people have given up on their projects um, because of the issue. A lot of people just were able to answer it. I have had a lot of more experienced people try to help solve it. Um, and in the end, I I managed to find it thanks to Lude Lad. He is the um, creator of Nude Bodies. And I've got to say, I've tried to reverse engineer his work. It is absolutely insane that he managed to get any of that working, um, especially as new as this game is. And he gave me an idea and I tried it, it didn't work, but based on all the context clues I was seeing, all the errors I was seeing, um, the results of everything that I've done, and trust me, I've done a million tests and I kept asking questions and I felt like I was irritating people on Discord because I was, I don't know, people seem to be very impatient, but it led me to an idea and the idea led me to the solution to this problem. Um, where the body textures are bleeding over onto the, the new mesh, or you know, mesh one textures are bleeding into text or to into mesh two, and we didn't want that. Um, so I'm not talking about the steps I'm doing right now, just because they're super basic. I have several videos on the more basic setups of getting your stuff together, and this would be a great example of that. Um, Anyway, so I imported everything and made sure everything was clear. Um, I need to have a UV editor and a shader editor. And I guess technically you don't, you don't need to load the image in, but I would like to have a visual and I will also have a video on how to load it in. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, some things first off. So because I need to check that the body mesh or the body texture isn't going into the eyeballs, I have to actually separate the body from all the hair and stuff. You see how I have everything joined into one piece and then I have the eyeballs joined in one piece, but I actually need the um, body and everything else separated because you know I have to test the textures. If you don't separate them, I will show you what the result is. So let's go ahead and load in um, a texture file. It's the wrong texture file, but it is still an example. I accidentally um, put the metallic in, um, but it won't make a difference. So um, we need to go into edit mode. So you can do tab or you can go into uh, the thing up there. So I went into edit mode and then I selected all. And you can see how everything is going way bigger than the UV map. And that's because I have hair selected. Like the game doesn't know where the fuck I'm pulling the hair from because there's no, these textures don't exist. There's no room on the UV map for these textures. It just makes no sense. So I went ahead and I separated everything um, and it, it, it added a lot of objects. Um, and that's just, that's just not gonna work for us. So like I said, we need to separate the body from everything else. So we actually don't need anything else because we know that it's the body texture that's messing with the eyeballs. And so that's what we're testing. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down and I'm gonna highlight everything that isn't body and I'm gonna join it together. And we know that top one is body. So I'll just, I don't know how to deselect that, but basically I'm just gonna join everything. Um, I'll skip ahead for you. Cool, now we have three objects. We have the body, we have the eyes, and we have everything else. So now if I select all, everything will be within um, 
within this file. But we also got to remember, uh, yeah, this is where I realized what the, I was like, what the fuck is wrong with this shit? Um, but you also got to remember to do UV flips and stuff like that, which I will get to in a minute. At this point, I was just realizing, wow, I just completely uploaded the wrong file. And I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead and put the right file in. So when we click open on the UV editor, we got to find the file that it's located. Um, here's this one. And remember, in the, in the node editor, you do shift A and you can add a, you go to texture and you go to image texture. You can add a texture, image texture, and then we're going to choose the image um, that we will be applying to the body, which will be the same image that you see in the UV editor. Um, something is not right. Let's try and figure out what is going on. So, ah, so I don't think I had the body selected. So I don't need the hair. So I need the body, but there is no nodes. So I'm going to open up nodes. And I'm going to do shift A, texture, image texture, drop that in there. And we're going to open up, um, the correct file. So we'll go to the texture file, find the new PNG, because remember, we can't get DDS to work. Bam. But now it's not on correctly, and we got to do the UV flip. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, we got to go in edit mode so we can see everything. We can do um, control A or shift A. I don't, I don't remember off the top of my head what it was. It's all muscle memory. We're going to mirror Y, and then we can go back into uh, object mode and see that everything lines up again, which is perfect. Um, something about S and D just flips the UVs. And now we're ready for step three.